<laughs> I hope you know where you're. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. Okay. Well. Bambina, Lottie, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now officer <coughs> officers of the resistance. <laughs> officers, <laughs> cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Lottie? I think Ruf- I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Where are the real rebels? What do you mean, real? Do you think this is a dream or something? Want me to poke you with a needle? I got one right here. I could stick it all the way in if I have to. No, no, I, I mean, I meant the true rebels. Janosch, Garlef, Leibold, the old gang, you know. Oh, them. Janosch is left on a mission, far as I know. Garlef and Leibold are in the camp, uh, right behind that gate. Huh. Well, they'll have to do for now, then. So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because you're women. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake. I always knew you was an idiot. But a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Sombrero! You see, even Lottie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against toxicants, right? Never. Or wombats. Oh, I love wombats. They're so... Ahem! They're useful animals! Exactly. Just like women. Attention! Superior officer present! Ah! Where? Behind you! <laughs> Naturally, I was referring to myself, you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah. Right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader. Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command as well. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? Huh. Squad leaders? Generals? Have I really been gone that long? I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Okay. Yoo-hoo! Open up! It's the secret yes? knock. Yes? Leibold! What luck! Uh, let me in. Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus! Come on, you must recognize your leader. You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yanosh. Yeah, but I'm right here. That's your opinion. <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in. I, I want to talk to him. No, I can't. How can I be sure you're not an Organon spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Huh. This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. Drop and give me 20. Hello, you two lovely ladies. You again? What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. You are Rufus! Yeah, I know that. But Leibold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah? You're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. Can't you take a short break to identify me at the gate? Not until we find the right design for the squad insignia. Our squad leader says it will boost our team spirit! Spirit? I thought you were on duty. Team spirit, Rufus! Don't you even know what... Ah, just forget it. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. What about a pretty flower? A flower? What? Women like flowers. Huh. <laughs> You think you're so funny, huh? Let's see whether you're still laughing when I crack your nasal bone straight into your brain. If you have one. God, you ladies are awfully hard to please. What about a unicorn? Yes! Private? Did I say yes? I meant no, of course! You heard her. But if you wait until I find the crowbar, I'll be happy to make you look like a unicorn. What about a dainty little princess crown? Oh, that would be so totally... Offensive. Exactly. Off offensive and how? Let's make him bleed for this affront. What about a mop? Oh, so we can mop up the blood and gore of our enemies, right? No, Private. He's only trying to insult us. But if he carries on, he'll wish he had a mop for his own guts. What about a shark? Huh. That's not a bad idea. Mm, don't you think a shark might make me look fat? Uh, that would depend on the color. What about... <coughs> Dusky pink! Uh, but then it won't go with the shoes. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. If you think of anything else, keep it to yourself. Unless it's actually good. Bozo's sick. Ugh. Not his milk allergy acting up again. Tell him I'm not gonna hold back his hair this time. Yeah, that's no fun, for sure. But that's not what I was referring to. I think he's depressed. Because of the planet's destruction? Ah, no idea. He's totally lethargic, just muttering to himself. Ah, he doesn't have to worry. The new general has a plan. I have a plan, too. Huh. In that case, I take it all back. He should be very worried indeed. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. Something's moving back there. It's hard for normal eyes to tell what it is. But I can see it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a blurry blob. No doubt about it. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course, that's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Well, look at that. I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon Headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry us up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level! You! Hello! Oh, rats. Nobody there. Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh. Darn, it's secure.
secured with a combination lock. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Oh, darn. It's secured with a combination lock. Darn. It's too small for me to hide. I have to find another crate. I have to find another crate. Obviously, the search for the right crate will take a while. But who cares? I bet I'm a lot closer to the goal than the other two. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly and, uh, well, pacifier-shaped. Here we go. Please be very, very quiet. After all, we must assume we're surrounded by evil people-eating monsters. Ah! No, please, don't! Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, quiet! There, that should shut her up for now. Here we go! Ha! Got it! Here we go! I got it! There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now, hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha ha, success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's-it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. It's such a nice day outside. And I'm hanging out in the sewer. Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those organons are. <laughs> Uh, it's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh, I hope not. And, and if I am, then you must take after your mother. <laughs> I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> your parents were real sadists, I guess. Well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it! That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Shoo! Let's see if this gets us out of here. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers inn. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it. Yes. And I got the five zlotties for it. Fantastic. You see, Goal, I told you I'd rescue you. Very <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet Johnny's are extremely tear resistant. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Forever! Forever! Yeah! <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers in for the five zlotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer! How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. So you have five zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I see. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, 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 tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun and... Uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao. <laughs> What is it now? Mr. Rufus, we can't get up there. Who says you're supposed to come up here? We need to stay with you. It's just too dangerous here for children like us. Nonsense. Danger is like ghosts. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. This area is teeming with nice people. So scram. Go, go and play. Um, hey, snot faces. Give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus... Oh, uh, but Mr. Rufus, sir... Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. You can't get at it that way. There's something missing from this jack. It's something, I don't know, like a crank handle. And it should fit exactly into this crank hole. Now, what could it be? I hereby declare that my search for the missing link between humans and monkeys is ended. Because I really don't want to be descended from him. Well, the music isn't all that bad, but their act really needs work. That guy does seem large and threatening, uh, but maybe he's just standing on something. Uh, you got me there. Yeah. I'm standing on the guy who tried to sneak past me. Oh. <laughs> oh, how cute. They've already found some friends. Goon, you old war horse. What are you doing here? Oh, no. Not you. Not you. Is he a friend of yours? Far from it. Goon, why are you being so rude to the poor guy? Unfortunately, he has a good reason. We used to be best friends. No, we were not. Yes, we were.